Are we going to have to wait till Sunday to see if OBJ's out there? Yeah, I think at this point that's where we're at right now. You know, he's out here in practice. He's done some good things. You know, just wait to the end of the week to see where he stands. Baker said this week that some people forget how fast he is. We mm -hmm. talk about his catching and his route running ability. Just is that something that you guys were excited to see coming off the ACL injury that he still got it? Yeah, he definitely still has it. There's no question. He's he uh, he's a powerful explosive when he starts to run and he digs in. He can he can fly. So uh, having that speed back out on the field, you know, we're looking forward to that. Not only with him, but Anthony Schwartz too. Like. How does that help an offense to have guys, multiple guys that can take the top off? It does. It definitely helps. Um, you know, you can't play short on those guys, so they can run right past you, and that's always a threat. And that's something that we have in our um, offense, the ability to go right by you too, as well. So um, it definitely helps when you have multiple people that can do that. Donovan mentioned Odell making a great catch the other day. And we saw him starting to take team reps at the end of when we were allowed to watch. But has he continued to ramp that up where he's out there more? Oh, definitely. Guys... Yeah, the last last few weeks he's he's definitely been more involved, and you know hopefully he feels well and everything goes uh, you know smoothly and, and stays positive for this weekend. Yeah, you know, is that Chiefs defense underrated? Absolutely. I, I mean, I think that's a good defense. What do they do best? Um, they've been together for a long time. There's a lot of defense in that system, a lot of scheme. Um, you know. Coach Spaggs has done a great job. He's a he's a guy that likes to pressure, and they bring it from a lot of different looks, uh, with a lot of different people. Um, it's, I think it's a very underrated defense. Baker talked about just going back to Odell for a second. Baker talked about just how valuable it was using some of those down moments in camp just to work one on one with Odell. In fact, that he didn't do a lot of team stuff. Just from your perspective, what what value came from that, and just you know, how do you feel about? that relationship now, because that was one of the, the talking points last year. Unfortunately, he gets hurt, but the offense took off. Right. Him. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been great work on the side. Uh, anytime you can bank those reps, um, just the rhythm, the timing, the feel of when, they, when the receivers are coming out of their breaks with the quarterback, can't get enough of that. You know, it doesn't always have to be in a team setting, um, ultimately, but we did a lot of that work on the side, and I think those two feel really good about where they are in their chemistry right now. Has, has Schwartz been out there enough that he could, like, I think he does. He's a smart guy. You know, he's, he studies his butt off um, and very, rarely makes mistakes. And you know, I think he's in the last few weeks he's been out enough. Uh, you know, I feel comfortable putting him in and asking him to, to contribute in this game. The, the Chiefs are so good at just coming out of the gate and getting a lead. And with, with their offense, I mean, how much pressure does it put on the opponent's offense? It seems like most teams are always trying to catch up. Yeah, that's a, that is true. I mean, that's a very explosive offense. They have a lot of weapons, obviously, and a great quarterback. Um, we're not playing that offense, though. You know, so that's our mindset coming in. We have to take care of our drives. We have to take care of the football, and we have to end, end with the drives. Um, you know, in the end zone, that's preferable. Um, you know, if we end with a kick, that's not bad. Whether it's a field goal or a punt, we just have to protect that football, not turn it over, not worry about their offense, and just worry about our execution. How much have you guys uh, talked about and worked on your operation? Given that you know you guys have played in front of many fans last year, and then Arrowhead is so loud, has that reputation. It does have a great reputation. It's something we've definitely addressed. We've worked the crowd noise, um, you know, since the mini camps and the OTAs. Uh, it's definitely something we're expecting. Um, it's part of the environment, and we have to be able to play and function and have clean operation within our system, regardless of what the situation is. But we're definitely aware of it and excited to get a chance to, to operate in some, you know, in a, in a full stadium this year. Alex, how, how much does it help you guys? Baker called it the bread and butter stuff. You know, that you're coming into year two in this system. You guys know each other. The whole offense is back. You know what you want to do, and now you can just sort of add wrinkles on top of that. Yeah, it's always great when you can when you come back in, into the same system. You know, like you said, that last year we were kind of feeling our way through. Um, you know, the, the pandemic didn't help with the no no practice in, in the OTAs. Um, that was tough to put in a system. You know, virtually. Um, so. The, the bumps in the road early. We expect those to be smoothed out uh, this year, moving forward. We do have a, you know, a, a group a, a, that understands what we're trying to accomplish. We have a quarterback that's now in the second year of the system that understands um, more of the reads and the progressions, and he's been great all spring and in this camp. So um, we're excited. We got a great group of guys. Um, that's that's probably the biggest thing in that group, that, that offensive group. I love them all. They're all you know professionals, uh, good people, and work their butts off. So I'm excited about the the future of this team. So what do you expect from Baker in his fourth year and, like you said, second year in the system? I ex expect him to play like he did as he finished up the season last year after the bye week. I think he really had great control of what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, did an outstanding job of protecting the football and protecting the team. 
um, had a really good understanding of, of the system, you know, and, and the plays and the reads and the progressions and, and, and the protections as well. So a continuation of that. And in a matchup like this with Mahomes, who's won an MVP, like, do you have to talk to Baker at all about don't try to go throw for throw with this guy, just kind of stay within yourself? Yeah, we're not worried about that side of the ball. You know, really, we aren't. We're, we're focused on doing the right thing in our room and our, in our side of the ball. And, you know, if... You know, whatever happens, happens at that point. But we have to take care of the football. We have to be productive and put points on the board regardless of who we're playing. That's Lala, our goal. You know, staying within himself, uh, does he have another level to go to, Baker? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's always room for growth. You know, and he'd be the first one to tell you that, I believe. Um, yeah, we're always looking to improve his game. And whether it be just little small things of cadence to, you know, uh, accuracy on throws, we're always looking for improvement. And he's got room. Everybody does. How much focus is there on Chris Jones on your yeah, there's definitely. I mean, he's a dominant player. There's no question. When you look at that defense, you you know you start to circle the guys that, that get the the gold star, and he's a gold star player. I mean, he really is. He's powerful, explosive, and um, you know I'm not sure where he'll play. He plays up and down the line, be it end at times and inside and in, in rushing situations. So um, we, we've definitely you know uh, highlighted him as a player that we need to be aware of. First time you went to Arrowhead, were you kind of mind blown how loud it was? Yeah, no, the uh, first time I went to Arrowhead, I was actually dressed and playing for the Chiefs, so I didn't play, thank goodness, because I was nervous. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that place is, is it's a special place. Um, you know, having been there as a player for the Chiefs and then been there as an opponent, I know how special it is. It's loud, they have great fans, and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to go out and, and execute in a loud environment. As a coaching coordinator, Alex, is this week a little more fun because it's actually an opponent? You know, preseason is a lot of you guys, but is it actually is it more fun for a coach to prepare for a game? Absolutely. <laughs> no question. You know, getting ready for the regular season when it really matters, um, that's when it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Was it Marty you played for? I did, yes, sir. Yeah. Alex, with Baker, um, you know, he started 40 some straight games. This is going to be the third straight year where he's been the opening day starter, which is kind of right around here. Right. He's been through a lot. But what do you think has made him so resilient? I always say it about Baker. He's a competitive guy. I mean, he loves it. He loves to compete. He loves to be great, and he strives for it, and he works really hard at it. And I think that's that's why you've seen him, you know, have success here as of late.